yo what's up guys how you guys doing today all right man so i need to bleed the brakes of my truck so the reason why i gotta bleed my brakes is because a while back i was doing the timing on my truck i had my arm resting right here on the brake master cylinder reservoir and i pulled something knocked the uh reservoir completely off the peg and all the fluid just leaked out everywhere <laughs> so i figured that was probably a sign from god saying to upgrade my brakes so I went to the junkyard and I think this is like 12 bucks, but I can't remember. But I did make a video on the installation of the MBS brake master cylinder. And all you need is this right here. I can't remember what the size is, but I did say it in the video. So if you guys want to know how to put an MBS brake master cylinder on your OBS Chevy Silverado, click the link in the description to take it right to the video. I'm going to do it with this. This is a Pittsburgh brake bleeder vacuum pump kit all right y'all i had to rip it out the package it was acting brand new all right you guys so this is how i got it set up so basically you got the uh squeezer right here you got a tube on it that goes all the way down and on top of the lid it will say two pump so this side needs to be going towards the pump then the other hose goes on the other side obviously and then you got these little fittings right here. There's a ton of them in there. And you just pick the fitting that goes over top of your bleeder screw. And then obviously you still need a wrench. So um, you put this on top of your bleeder screw and then you put a wrench on there, you break it loose and then start pumping, stuff like that. But I do think that you need to have at least uh, one ounce. And for all you people that use the the milliliters you would need around like 40 milliliters of clean brake fluid in here and um, once you get everything hooked up uh, there's this piece right here the dude in the video that I watched I didn't see him remove this and he was complaining that it didn't work that well so if you hold this side down and then you squeeze this it's got to go through all of this hose but it'll go all the way up to what is that like 30 30 25 20 15 10 5 0 so yeah and then it'll vacuum out all that see <laughs> it'll the brake fluid will go through here drip down and i guess all the pressure or whatever from this i don't know how all that works science crap all right you guys i gotta hurry it up because i think the jack <laughs> is uh slowly leaking out but i got my damn truck jacked up so high to where the the tire spins well it did there it goes <laughs> but yeah so i'm gonna bleed the brakes and then i got another tire on the back to put on because this one keeps going flat i'm gonna find out where this one's leaking at and then patch it but dude look how freaking high my truck is like <laughs> it's <laughs> Hold on, let's see if I can get it from the front. Damn, dude. She is lifted up, son. Bro, people are really this damn dumb to let kids out of right here, dude. Got my damn truck jacked up. If it was to fall off the damn jack, dude, that'd be bad. All right, so I topped off the brake fluid reservoir and I put a jack stand down just in case. And now, uh, this little thing is right over top of the bleeder screw. Matter of fact, I think I need a smaller one. So I'm gonna swap that out, find a wrench to uh, break that nut loose. And then I'm gonna start the process. A little windy out, but uh, I found the right one that clamps on. It actually, like, you gotta force it on, which is pretty good. And I couldn't find a wrench, but I did find a pair of pliers that will just, oh my gosh, dude. All right, so I was able to get the bolt loose. So I loosened it up and tightened it up, loosened it up, tightened it up just to break the, uh, the rust free, I guess. Um, I don't know what size it is. This just says uh, 3377.90 and it's got 0514 on it. It's a cold bolt. So yeah, if you guys know what that size is, by any means, run it. So I'm just gonna, all right, I can loosen this up tighten it with these now so now let's go on. make sure that's clean shove that mug on there 
Now I'm gonna loosen this up. I know I said I was gonna do it off camera, but I might as well do it on camera, you know what I'm saying? And I think we just squeeze this damn thing until brake fluid comes out. I don't know. But uh, I might do that off camera. I don't know. Hang on. All right, so I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or if this thing just doesn't work right. So either that or I just got brake fluid in there and maybe you're not supposed to have brake fluid in there. I don't know. But uh, so I got this all attached and I'm sitting there pumping this thing up. It's going all the way to the this side. And uh, nothing's coming out. I mean, like a, a tad bit came out. But then when I press that button there, it released the pressure and it forced all this brake fluid through the line. So I don't know. I'm going to have to empty that out and see if that makes a difference i don't know but <laughs> this sucks dude i got this thing this bleeder screw is like almost like halfway out dude so uh, i got a firm ass brake pedal dude and yes that bleeder screw is still loose i'm just seeing oh yeah that definitely did something that definitely did something <laughs> I don't know, it might have just broke something free, but if you guys can see that, there's that brown brake fluid in there. So I wonder if I can pump it now. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at that. Okay then, and you can see all the air come out. Look at that. There's a massive amount of air coming out of this thing, dude. All right guys, so I did go and pump up the brakes like seven times I'm trying to get this thing to stay up and uh some of the fluid was actually just coming out there it goes look at that that's what you want to see lots of brake fluid coming out but i think we're gonna have to just let this thing fall feed i don't believe in gravity because it's not real so. yes sir man oh man i should be getting paid for being this damn smart so got the jack on the front and it seems how the wheels push up against the uh the curb i can't spin it <laughs> but i do got it jacked up enough to where i can get underneath there and i do have access to the bleeder screw because Dude, there's just freaking trash hey bud keep on going you got your green cord by the way no all right get out of here i still get the out here have you guys ever seen a dandelion this freaking big before oh my goodness i didn't realize it was that big i thought maybe it was just two of them but damn dude that's genetically modified <laughs> usually they just have a single little stem on them like this all right you guys so as you can tell it is definitely working there is so much air on this side it's not even funny like damn <laughs> i think this thing is really just meant to remove the air and not the brake fluid itself because look at that that's all it's been this thing actually works dude there's so much air in them lines it's not even funny this just proves doesn't matter what situation you're in if you want to get something done you'll find a way so oh there goes some more so i'm just gonna uh let that do its thing i'm gonna let it bleed out and uh i'm gonna go do something else the plan is i'm gonna get a little bit of brakes and then try to start my truck if it will start i'm gonna go ahead and pull it into the parking lot and then I'm gonna uh, put the rear wheel cylinders on and then bleed the brakes again. Well, I think she's good to go. Just need to see if it'll start up and then freaking move it out back. All right, you guys, I think that's all I got for this video. If you guys wanna know if this thing starts up, make sure you guys subscribe because I'll definitely be working on that next. I gotta move because my rent got increased and I can no longer afford it. So I need to get the freaking vehicles running. So I did get my mom's car running. 
as you guys seen in the previous video so I just need to hook up the wheel speed sensor because it doesn't shift and it doesn't tell you how fast you're going so that's another thing I need to get done on this car that's all I got for this video I'll see you guys in the next one man peace